today we got to repair an air conditioner this customer has got the uh the big old integra bus and he's got three mach 8 air conditioners in his middle air conditioner the condenser fans feet have come separated from the pan of the air conditioner which caused the fan blade to break so we've got to go repair the feet by uh, installing new isolators under the feet and then we got of course got to put a new fan blade on and uh, come on up a little tight quarters today Four screws to take off the shroud here. Once I get the hood off, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a very common occurrence with these Mach 8s, unfortunately. So you can see right here the fan blades broke, right? But none of the feet are holding the motor down to the pan anymore either. Another common problem with the Mach 8s. So what we're going to do is take the uh, broken feet off motor. And then down here, what we're going to have to do is dislodge the air conditioner from the roof and kick it up on its side so I can get the new hardware through these holes down here to hold the fan motor. Thing just come off. They're not acting cooperative. So we've got to find a 3 8 That's a millimeter. Uh, maybe it's this bag. You like my professional high class uh, setup here? 3 8 probably going to have to open up our evaporator cover here to get at two of the mounting bolts. Well, actually all four of them are under there. Just remembered. Alright. So what happens is the, uh, I don't know if it's the glue or whatever it is, over time the, uh, the rubber just gets old and the metal that's glued to the rubber just lets loose and it's uh, stuck to screwed in to the bottom from the pan and then the motors right here and they just over time they just they let go I don't want to play no more all right so let's go ahead and open up I think I'm gonna use my screw gun on this Okay, so on the evaporator cover, there's four, four nuts holding that down. Got two on the back here. And two on the front. And then you gently, ever so firmly, get it broke loose from the evaporator. Set it aside. All right. So now what we're looking at here, as far as kicking this up, if you look over here, this luxury bus has got a drain here. So this is a sump pump 
it collects all the condensation that comes off the evaporator, it turns on, it runs the condensation through this hose, to this hose, to that PEX line, which goes through the roof, down through the wall, and drops out onto the ground. Uh, but what we're probably gonna have to do is break loose a line here because when we kick this thing up on its side, it's going to uh, want to tug on a, on a hose there. But other than that, we've got a bolt here, a bolt here, here, and here. We'll take all those four bolts out, disconnect a drain line, and then we'll be able to flip it up. Now that's a bolt. Should come out. Two back ones came out all right. And that one came out all right. Let's see about this one. Acts like it doesn't want to come out. There she goes. Four bolts to hold it to the roof or out. And I think what I'm gonna do to make my life easy is see if I can just pop a hose off this. Look at there. Done, done, and done. All right. So I should be able to lift this air conditioner up onto its edge now and get those last two remaining feet out. These guys down here. And then I've got a bag over there, or it's in the box actually, with brand new isolator feet in them. And then we'll install those new feet and then we can put the air conditioner back now. pretty good so I'm thinking what I might do here is just this is the umbilical cord for the roof unit I might disconnect him and then take the control box and shove it through the hole so we're not stressing the wires and we can get the unit up and it's just held on with these two wing nuts and then we can take this just position it so that the air conditioner comes right over the top of it. Just like that. Alrighty. Alright, you can, I'll hold it, you come around so the people can see. Alright, so right here is where the motor goes. And you can see here's one bolt that fell out right here. And these two are still holding rubber isolators on in the pan up there even though the top part of the isolator came disconnected. All right, well, let me make sure we got the right size going on there. All right, this is the right size. Okay. And I may have to hold the rubber foot with my hand here. Yep, I did. And that one was still pretty loose, but that one was tight. All right, let me get the new ones out of the box and we can lay this guy down. There's your part number. Isolator package, part number 47233A3171. All right. So these go to the top side. And then these guys with the Loctite on them will come in from the bottom. So we just got to get them lined up. Uh, this is easier said than done when you're not looking at the holes. OK. 
Okay, now I can fill the threaded stem through the pan and I can just line that up. Put that guy's on. Put this one in. And get me a rubber isolator. Put it on. One more right here at the bottom. And of course, I've got to move the motor down the way to get that. Isolator. All right. The bottom side work is done. So all that's left are that package is this, this. So those threaded stems that are on top of the isolators, that's what the motor feet will go on. And then we bolt it down and that part will be done. And everybody, well, our fan blade's rubbing that wire box a little bit, right? Well, I looked in the box, little envelope in there, washer in it. Well, according to the instructions that I just read out of the box, it says that if it's rubbing the fan any, to add that washer underneath the fan so as to raise it up a little bit. So we'll take our fan back off. It is a T25 torque. And we'll add another washer underneath. because this is keyed. All right. Okay. Not even tempted to rub it. Good deal. All right, guys. Well, all we gotta do now is uh, put our uh, squirrel cage fan cowling back on, which it just sits there, right? And then we gotta put our evaporator cover back on over the evaporator, put the shroud back on over the unit. And uh, man, that wraps it up. The only thing left now is to pack up the tools and climb back down the ladder, to which I am not looking forward to doing. Not much of a fan of heights, but guys, I appreciate any kind of uh, like you would give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you really would be grateful if you'd subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. And uh, we'll just keep on making more and more videos for you guys so to help you out, to help you understand what's going on. And if you want to learn so you can do it yourself, you know, then uh, we've helped you out. And I mean, why not? Let's help each other out. You guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.